What's up, everybody? This is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 84 of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we totally pwned the Spear Temple as a kid, and we had lots of fun doing it, didn't we? Yes. I hope you all had fun, because that was fun. What am I doing? I, I don't have to go over here to warp. Well, whatever. I'm going there anyways, just because. It'll make me feel more awesome. Haha, <laughs> you guys can't get me. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be doing some stuff, I guess. Um, oh yeah, we also saw Nobu get, get like, trapped inside a black, a black magic portal thingy, Bob. We don't know much about that. But yeah. So, we're just going to go ahead and go to the Temple of Time. Because there's really not much else to do. Because, remember, the other half of that prophecy inside the Spear Temple said... To return there in the future with the power of silver to progress further, pretty much. Something like that. It's not word for word, I know that much. Oh well. Alright, um... Yep. Oh, uh, there was actually something I wanted to do as an adult, too. But, for it, I have to give credit to somebody who told me about it, and I don't remember the username at the moment, so I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do that at some point, don't worry. I, I'm sure you know who you are, you private messaged me like forever ago about this, but yeah. Link, put away that freaking Master Sword, get out your big Oron Sword. Your biggie. Awesome. Alright, so, what are we gonna do now? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's not what you expect. We're not, because, what would you expect? Us to go to the Spirit Temple, right? Well, actually, we're going to play this song. Not that song. Yep, the Minuet of Forest. Why? Well, that's easy, because we have to go to Zora's Domain. Still confused? Well, you'll you'll get my point. This is actually the shortest way to Zora's Domain. I don't know, it might be the same, like, the same time to walk there from our rural ta castle town, but this way's more awesome, because we get to deal with this guy. Yes! Oh my god! Miss! Miss! You fail, sucker! Slashing the back of the knees with a big Oron sword. That's the power of the big Oron, man. Big Oron sword shop. And look, our wallet's full again. You, you can die, too. Cool. Alright, so yeah, we're going to Zora's Domain because if you remember, like, in a few episodes... Um, what are you talking about? Equip the silver gun and try moving things you couldn't budge before. Dude, the silver gauntlets are already equipped. By the way, look at how badass those things look on Link. Like, look at those. Just look at his arms and stuff. Those look freak freaking awesome. Way better than that freaking stupid Goron bracelet that we had as a kid. Whatever. So yeah, if you remember, in a few episodes, I've actually noted that there is one more Skuldula we have to claim in Zora's Domain. And before I forget about it, you actually need the, um silver gauntlets to get it. I, t I told you we would need an item way later in the game to get it. And this is that item, the silver gauntlets. So yeah, this is the shortest way to Zora's Domain that I really know of, because there's no warp song there. Um, yep. So, we are going to go get that Skulltula before I forget. Because I could easily forget. Alright. So we're here now, oh yeah. We have to play Zelda's Lullaby, even though there's no Triforce symbol. There's just a freaking message. Yeah, the Zoras, they, they're creative. They don't use a Triforce symbol. They write what you're supposed to do. Because no, not everyone knows about the Triforce, you know? Just like, seriously. Why does everyone assume that Zelda is related, is, has any relation to the Triforce? Triforce, yes. Triumph Forks. Let alone Zelda's Lullaby. And the Triumph Forks. Whatever. Alright, and as you can see, Zora's Domain is still frozen, and will remain so for the rest of this game. And we won't see it until Twilight Princess, actually. We don't see it in any other game. Other than that one. And then it's gonna be frozen in that game, too. God damn. That's spoilerific, but by that point, everyone will have forgotten that I said it in here. Probably. Well, probably not. People remember things forever, like freaking elephants. You're all elephants. Get it? Elephants. You get that reference? You are awesome. 
All right, um, so yeah, we're just gonna walk along water's edge here over to where we got Furore's Wind because this is where the final Skulltula rests. I'm not drunk because you'd be like, what do you need the Silver Gauntlets over here for, dude? Well, what I need it for is this freaking rock here because I I'm just gonna show this off. Okay, so you can't bomb this rock. See, I'll show you. Watch it go boom! See, no, you can't bomb that. But there was something under that rock that is bombed. Oh well. We'll find out about that later. So, your next notion would be to use the Megaton Hammer. But not even the Megaton Hammer does a, makes a dent in this thing. Meg the Megaton Hammer only works on these rocks and, like, red rocks. These gray rocks, nothing. So what are you supposed to do? Um, well, first I'm gonna get out my Lens of Truth, because I'm gonna need that soon. Well, you're supposed to lift it. You can only lift it with the silver gauntlets. And, by the way, that's what I blew up. This hole would have been blocked, I think, if I hadn't blown that up. And so here's this little secret passage. And what am I talking about? I don't even really need the the Lend of Truth. Because as you can see, there's something there. We can't tell what it is unless Navi tells us. It's a Skulltula. One of those big Skulltulas that drops on you. Ow. You stupid. But yeah. Basically, it's, it's still pretty easy to kill them without the Lend of Truth. So just heed my word, I guess. You know, I can just hookshot them. What the hell? I forgot that that actually kills them in one hit. I forgot about that. Damn. Just die. There you go. Alright. And there's one more there, it looks like. Done. Awesome. Wouldn't it be crazy if they made... They should have made at least one golden sculpture invisible without, like, the lens of truth. That would have just been crazy. Like, you'd still be able to hear it, obviously, because you can still hear things that are invisible, but... I don't know, that would've just been cool. That would've been awesome. Whatever. Am I recording? Dude, I'm just checking now, even after I've beaten the Spirit Temple as a kid. Yes, I am recording. Both voice and video. That's good. Always gotta check that. I gotta remember that. And the Skulltula is... somewhere around here. Dude, it has to be nighttime. I'm an idiot. Now I have to play the Sun Song, get warped back to the entrance. God, God, gotta go through all that crap again. Damn it. Uh, sorry, taking a drink of Coke there. No better time than the present. God damn. How could I forget that? That's so trivial. You should know that from day one. That Skullshows usually only appear at night unless they're in like a dungeon or something. I don't even know how many sculptures I have right now. I think I have like 92, 93 or something. Who knows. Let's see, and over here there is this rock respawned. Yes. And as you can see, no, oh is it not blocked again? No it's not, look at that. I thought it was blocked again, oh well. Let's just, oh we can restock our supplies even more if we want, like we need it. Alright, just gonna kill these guys again. I probably should've just cut to this, but this doesn't take too long, really, at all. Just, like, a little portion of the video. What's it matter if this LP goes on for, like, another one part longer than it need than it really needs to? Just because of this. Who the freak cares? This could be, like, 200 parts. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't give a damn. Hell, it still could be 200 parts if I royally screw up in the Spirit Temple. I mean, goddamn. Alright, and tell me the Skulltula is here this time. Thank you. Awesomeness. I don't know, maybe it was here during the daytime and, I, and you were all laughing at me because you all saw it. But I didn't see it and I'm like, what the hell, it's not here. Oh, it has to be nighttime. Oh, well. Alright, now that we're done with that, um, first I'm going to check the map here. Make sure that everything's cleared. A haunted wasteland. There is one more sculpture there that I need to get. Gerudo's fortress. Oh, I missed a sculpture there. I have to go get that. I'll do that. Just hold hold your horses. I'll be doing that. And yep, looks like everything else is clear. So except for those two places. Can't believe I missed that sculpture. But now seeing that there's still one there, I remember exactly where it is. So that's good. Um, where can I warp to that's close to there? I can't warp to the desert colossus because you can't get back from there. I guess... Dude. There, that's how you play that. I guess this is the closest place to the fortress itself. 
Oh no, yeah. Well, there's actually some other stuff I might want to show in this episode, since we're probably not going to get started on the Spirit Temple. Only got like five minutes left here, so... Whatever. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. Just trekking across Lake Hylia. I probably could just cut there, but... And again, who... Uh, I don't want to get overzealous in cutting. That would just be bad. I mean, you, you guys like watching me. I wouldn't have like 420 subscribers if people didn't like watching me, would I? No, I don't think so. Oh man, 420. Never thought I would get that far so quickly. Thought it would take me at least a year to get to like 300. Like, goddamn. I mean, it's been almost a year since my YouTube channel started, since I signed up for, on this channel on August 31st. But I didn't start making, like, my first video wasn't posted until, like, what, February 26th, I think? Dude, just play the song. God damn it. I was like, wait, what? Am I, am I, am I gonna play this note? Is that what the man wants me to do? I don't know. Look at my big sword. Where's Epona? What the freak? How'd you come from over there? You can't even get in from over there. I left you clearly at Gerudo's Fortress. You should have come from down this road here, Epona. Not from over the freaking fishing hole. God damn. Alright, so let's just go over here now. Right here, right now. It's all you, Billy. All you, kid. And just work our way over. Not too difficult. Oh, God. Got nothing to talk about, I'm telling you. Bland commentary for the loss. You know, there's a lot of traveling involved in traveling. And you can often draw a blank on what to talk about when traveling, during your traveling. Dude. And as, as you can see, they did fix, they did indeed fix the bridge here, so no more epic jump for us. Sad face, kind of. But anyways, um, yep, and I remember that this time I do remember, because since I just had to learn it the hard way, sculptures appear only at night. Yeah, so get off your horse, Link, get off your high horse. Play the sun song. That's the song of storms, you idiot. What am I doing? I'm a tard. That's the sun song. You idiot. Oh my god. Did I really just do that? Anyways. Oh, hi, Epona. Nice butt. So, yeah. The one sculpture that I did miss here, it's not too... Like, I don't have to backtrack through all those labyrinthine doors in this fortress to get it, since I got the only sculpture that was there. That one on the wall by Pierre. And, oh, we can do that later, too. Actually, we can probably do that in the next episode. Might be useful to have that item. And you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. As it should be. Alright, so we're going to go over here to the Gerudo Archery Grounds. I'm never going to forgive this place. I'm never going to like this place. But, yeah, we're going to ride way out here. And you, when we get here, you will see that there is actually... Actually, a Sculptula on that target up there. So that's cool. Dude! What the fuck? What the fuck, Link? Why'd you do that? You don't aim at the wood and pull yourself to the sculpture and try to, like, slice it or something. That would just be retarded. Now you can pull yourself to it. In fact, I'm gonna do... What? You know what? That's a sign that I should end this video here. That, and it's about 14 minutes. So that's the last sculpture in Gerudo's Fortress, I believe. Let's check it out. Yep, we're clear here. Now there's the Haunted Wasteland to go. Anyways, um, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you, everybody, oh so much for watching. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to meet you actually by that construction area with the guy with the big mouth. You know, he gives the broken Goron sword. I'm going to meet you over by him. Why? Who knows. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching again. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night. Epona? Damn it!